What's up guys, welcome to Millennials with Money, the channel that helps you take control of your money and create a bright financial future. I'm Johnny and if you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button, click subscribe and the notification bell and tell another millennial. Now as we come towards the end of November with Black Friday and Cyber Monday just around the corner, you know that everybody's going to be rushing to the shops, if they're open of course, or on their computers looking for the latest deals and looking to try and snatch a bargain. And throughout 2020, we've seen a lot of businesses, a lot of shops, a lot of retailers with these sales, with particularly large discounts or exclusive offers to try and keep customers coming through the door and to try and keep money going into the business. And I think as millennials, we can be a pretty easy target sometimes due to our spending habits. A lot of us can be tempted by impulse buying, a lot of us can be very easily drawn in by marketing campaigns and not to mention that these campaigns are all over the internet and social media where we spend a lot of our time. And don't get me wrong, I love a good sale, I love a chance to save money, but you've got to be aware of the sales techniques that some of these companies are using to get you to spend your money because you may end up actually being taken advantage of, not you being the one taking advantage of the sale, which is what you want. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you some typical marketing techniques that some of these companies might use to try and get you to spend money. So let's check it out. Now, the first technique I'm going to discuss is the limited offer technique. You've all seen these before. Hurry ends next week. Hurry ends tomorrow. Hurry ends on X date. Now, this technique works because it puts you into a mental state of almost panic to get you to try and spend money before that offer runs out. By having a timeline on when that offer runs out, you're now conscious in your mind of, oh, I should take advantage of this before it runs out. And regardless of what the deal is, whether it's actually good or not, you're so concentrated on the time pressure and taking advantage of it before that you don't care. In your mind, you won't see a deal this good again and you just wanna get it done and go for it. My suggestion is ask yourself, do you really need the item that they're trying to sell you so bad before that time runs out on the offer? If the answer is yes, then give yourself a bit of time to think about it and shop around. Don't just look at this one retailer. You might find better quality somewhere else or you might even find the same price somewhere else. And if you can't find any concrete immediate need or justification that you need this item right now, discard, forget about it, move on. Now the second technique I'm gonna discuss is breaking down the cost of something into a smaller time period. And I've typically seen this used by charities and subscription services where they say, oh, this subscription only works out at so many cents or so many pence a day. And you think, great, I'm only spending a little bit of money each day, let's go for it. One example that I'll give you is from a language learning subscription that I used. One thing to note though is that I actually like the subscription and it's a good service. I'm simply using it to demonstrate the technique is that I think a two year subscription cost around 160 to 200 euros and they were selling it to me as, oh, this works out at 30 cents or 20 cents a day or something like that. At the end of the day, whether it costs 30 cents a day or 20 cents a day or five cents a day, you've still spent 165 or 200 euros. My suggestion would be to look at money in its absolute terms and not break it down over time. If anything, even do the opposite to what these companies are saying. Instead of breaking it down over the shorter term, why not calculate what that works out at over the long term? Because you'll see that, for example, a two year subscription that costs 200 euros, if you continue to renew that subscription, over four years, you'll have spent 400 euros on that subscription. And when you start to look at money like that, that's when you start to think whether you really need something and whether something is really worth your while because it makes you realize how much money you've spent over time and you could, that you could have maybe put that money towards something else. The third sales technique that you'll see is debt financing. And you'll often see this when it comes to items such as furniture, such as if you're buying a car, if you're buying a new laptop or new electrical goods, for example. Because the outright cost of these items is often so high, it can be in the thousands of pounds, dollars, euros, whatever your currency. So what a lot of sellers do is they'll offer you financing options and they'll say you can have this for only so many hundred euros a month and you think to yourself great i found a bargain i found a way to afford this but there's a catch if you use something with debt financing that means that there's going to be interest charged on top so although your 200 pound a month payment 
might seem like an affordable solution now when it works out over time that you've paid thousands of pounds more than you needed to then you realize how debt financing has cost you extra money that you didn't need to spend on an item and debt financing is a technique also employed by credit card companies they want you to spend your money and if you use debt financing again they can charge you interest on your balance and that's how they make their money from interest payments my suggestion for this is simple just pay the money up front don't turn to debt financing for such purchases and just pay the money up front save yourself the interest the fourth technique is free items you know the classic buy one get one free two for the price of one spend over so much money and you'll get a free something let's take an example where a takeout restaurant says free dessert and then you see in the small print when you spend over 15 euros 20 euros whatever it is first of all do you really want the dessert do you actually want the dessert or do you just want to take advantage of the promotion because it looks nice second of all if the promotion wasn't on would you have spent extra money to buy items that gets you up to that total that makes you eligible so for example you buy a meal worth 10 euros and you think oh if i only spend five euros more i get the free dessert so you add on some sides so some chips some onion rings for example if the promo wasn't on would you really have spent that money would you really have wanted to spend that money if there was no free dessert in it for you and what's more forget those extra items that you bought if you've bought your original meal with the dessert it's likely that it would still cost less than the promotion again my suggestion is only buy what you really need only spend money on what you really need to spend money on final technique I'm gonna to come to you is major discounts and I'm gonna give you a practical example from my own life that I've seen for this one so in Europe it's very easy to travel between countries at a low cost and there are a lot of low-cost airlines out there that allow this to happen one of these carriers Ryanair was offering five euro tickets that's right to the first 1 million customers that booked in the flash sale personally I love travel so I checked it out I actually found something that I liked but in the end couldn't go because of current restrictions sad times but whatever it is what it is but I will tell you what I saw as I checked out this promotion the first thing I noticed was that these five euro tickets were for one leg so either a one-way ticket or one way on a return flight so even if you got a five euro ticket to your destination you might end up spending 30 or 40 euros back which is a bit of a disillusion the second thing i noticed was that some of these destinations there they were offering the five euro tickets and not some of the most popular destinations where you'd want to go in europe in october for example a lot of people wanting to catch the last bits of sun in spain or greece would still have to pay 30 euros for these tickets because they weren't in the five euro offer and those flights that did come under the five euro promotion often left at crazy times of the day such as 6 7 a.m which is not really practical and as ryanair is a low-cost carrier they often operate from airports which are outside of the main city so it ends up being a huge hassle getting there and the third thing i noticed was that i didn't actually care about the five euro tickets by the time i was on the website and looking at flights i didn't care about the promotion i was just looking at what flights were looking good were attractive were at a reasonable price and that is one of the key things that they want a lot of these high discounts they don't care whether you buy the low cost items the low cost items they just price them low and say oh from five euros but actually what they really want you to do is buy more expensive items that five euro ticket was just to get me on the website because they know that more often than not you're going to end up spending more money than that five euro ticket and something else to watch out for is that some of these discounts can actually be fake you think you're getting a good deal but maybe the item has only been at the original price for a day and then it was marked down immediately after or the original price is purely an estimate and they've just marked it down again to draw you in and you think you're getting a higher quality than you really are because of that in any case my suggestion again is ask yourself do you really need the purchase and if you do shop around try and look at other retailers other shops other websites see if you can find something cheaper once you have a benchmark to compare to it's much easier to tell where you'll get the best deal what you'll see in all of these examples is there's no secret to it it really comes down to self-discipline 
And self-discipline is much easier to enforce if you have a budget and financial goals that you want to achieve in place. I did a video on financial goals back at the start of my channel. I'll leave the video up here for you to watch. So do check that out. And again, don't think about the savings that you make by buying something. Whether you spend 100 euros instead of 200 euros, it doesn't matter that you saved 100 euros because you still spent 100 euros. So to summarize this video, there's a lot of marketing techniques out there that retailers and businesses will use to try and get you to spend your money. Be aware of how they're trying to entice you into spending money that you don't necessarily need or want to spend. Have self-discipline and look for the more cost-effective options. That's all from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the Millennials with Money social media and internet pages. I'll see you on the next video and let's get this money.